Welcome to the virtual tutor series on core mathematics for senior high schools. This is part two of the lessons on plane geometry. In our previous lesson, we presented an overview of the topic, including a review of some key terms and concepts. In this lesson, we review the various types of angles and carry out some basic calculations on angles on a straight line and angles at a point. Kindly take your book and pen and follow along as we zoom in to the classroom. Types of angles An acute angle is an angle that is less than 90 degrees. In other words, an acute angle measures from zero to anywhere less than 90 degrees. So if this angle is theta, then theta is less than 90 degrees. You can think of an acute angle as a V-shape. An angle that measures exactly 90 degrees is called a right angle. If two lines are perpendicular to each other, they form a right angle. And this sign is used to represent a right angle. So assuming this angle is theta, then theta is equal to 90 degrees. A right angle can be thought of as an L shape or a quarter of a circle. An obtuse angle is an angle that is greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. Therefore, if this angle is theta, then theta measures between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. An angle that measures exactly 180 degrees is called a straight angle. Let's assume that the angle here is theta. Then theta is equal to 180 degrees. You can think of a straight angle as a straight line, a semicircle, or half of a full rotation. A reflex angle is an angle that is greater than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees. So if this angle is theta, then theta is between 180 degrees and 360 degrees. An angle that measures exactly 360 degrees is called angle at a point. You can think of an angle at a point as an O shape, a circle, or a full rotation. So if we have the point O here, and these three lines meeting at the same point, to form three angles, A, B, and C, then A plus B plus C is equal to 360 degrees. Great, so that's it for the types of angles. Now, let's carry out the following basic calculations based on these definitions. Example number one. In the figure below, MN and PQ are straight lines. Find the value of the angle marked X. And here is the solution. The first hint is that the sum of angles on a straight line is 180 degrees. Angles 105 degrees and x are on a straight line. Therefore, 
105 degrees plus x is equal to 180 degrees. We group like terms by subtracting 105 degrees from both sides of the equation. So we have x is equal to 180 degrees minus 105 degrees. 180 degrees minus 105 degrees is 75 degrees. Therefore, x is equal to 75 degrees. Example number two. Find the size of the angle marked y in the diagram above. Solution. These three angles are on a straight line. So the first hint is that the sum of angles on a straight line is 180 degrees. And the second hint is that one of the three angles is a right angle. That is, one of the angles is 90 degrees. And since 90 degrees is half of 180 degrees, these two angles should sum up to 90 degrees. That is, y plus 35 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. Grouping like terms, we have y is equal to 90 degrees minus 35 degrees. 90 degrees minus 35 degrees is 55 degrees. Hence, y is equal to 55 degrees. Example 3. Find the value of x in the diagram below. Solution. The clue here is that the sum of angles at a point is 360 degrees. This implies that 4x minus 30 plus 2x plus 30 plus x plus 10 is equal to 360. 4x plus 2x plus x is 7x. And minus 30 plus 30 plus 10 is 10, which is equal to 360. Let's group like terms by subtracting 10 from both sides of the equation. This gives 7x on the left-hand side and 360 minus 10 to be 350 on the right-hand side. Dividing both sides by 7, we have x to be 50 degrees. Well done! This brings us to the end of today's lesson. In our next lesson, we will cover relationships between angles. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up, share, and leave your comments in the comment section below. You may also consider subscribing to the TVTLS YouTube channel in order to receive notification on educational videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video lessons.